So we have a new bill, a siting council bill, and the idea is to find a compromise. Most people now are using things like these little uh, iPhones. I have one. You have one. Most of us have one or some other version of them. And they're also using things like iPads. Um, they're, they're, there's portability in the way people communicate now. It's not just voice. Everything. Data downloads, entertainment, and all of that. They're demanding it. Business is demanding it. People are demanding it. A lot of our kids don't even use landlines anymore. So the compromise is... Um, we need more cell towers in communities, and the cell towers uh, that are already there are in the easier places, in industrial sites and such. So now they're going into neighborhoods, and people are very upset. Homeowners are very upset. Suddenly they looked out, there was a tree, now there's a cell tower behind it. So we tried to find a compromise that acknowledges the needs and also acknowledges the fears. So what we did was we have a three-part bill. Um, it gives communities a lot more input during the whole application process, so they have much more say. People have more say on where these, where these towers should go. Um, it also um, has a rational setback that we're encouraging from schools and commercial daycare centers. And it also punishes people, uh, applicants and major opponents who are involved in the process, if they intentionally try to mislead the process by uh, introducing false information. We're hoping that what this does is really make communities feel that they're being listened to, really make the siting council more aware that it's representing not just the telecom industry, but also people and communities, and we're hopeful that it will pass.